following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. A very good evening and thank you for joining with us on Business Best tonight. This is a platform where we showcase the best in the business and we will be introducing to you people who have excelled in their particular field in order to showcase their latest developments in their respective industry. So today on the show we'll be discussing on a fitness studio that has basically implemented new ways of getting yourself into fit shape and also uh, best practices that they implement in order to have good fitness habits. So it's my pleasure to invite Ashanti Soris, Chandani, who is the founder and the managing director of Breakthrough Studio. Ashanti, thank you very much for joining with us on the show today. Thank you for having me, Shanali. So as my first question, yeah. could you tell us a bit about your studio, the Breakthrough Studio? Yes, so my studio is called the Breakthrough Fitness Studio, Breakthrough Studio, and uh, it's not a gym. It's very different to a gym. The focus of the studio is weight loss, strengthening and toning. We have group sessions from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day and each session is 50 minutes. So yes, it's a fitness studio and uh, we conduct group classes, group fitness classes. Okay, Ashanti, what, what made you want to become a fitness coach in the first place? Yeah, so um, it was a point in my life where I was really broke and <laughs> I was um, looking to do something, you know, f to get out of my situation. and. Uh, the only thing <laughs> that ke everyone actually kept on telling me and my husband very specifically said why don't you try your hand in fitness and uh, at first I wasn't too in for it but after that I realized that okay you know let me try it and see how it goes and that's how it, I started. So I believe you followed your passion were you into fitness before as well? Yes I was always into fitness that's my passion it's my hobby that's what I do research in I think I was just born like that you know okay. I love fitness I love healthy living um, yeah that's good to know that you're doing something that you really like yes and would you tell us a bit about your programs that you do at your studio okay so at breakthrough studio like i said before we focus on fat loss strengthening and toning and uh, all the sessions at the studio are centered around functional fitness so functional fitness is um, based around your day-to-day -day movement like for example if i want if i'm carrying a child and if i want to uh, pick the phone that's ringing behind me I would have I would have to turn mm -hmm. you know and pick it so it's day-to-day -day movement it's the fitness the whole program is based on day-to-day -day movement um, we focus a lot on mobility and uh, the equipment that we use are bungee fitness and TRX which are also used in sports rehabilitation and you mentioned bungee training as well. I believe yes. that is the training that you have brought into Sri Lanka for the first time. Yes. Uh, could you tell us a bit about bungee training? Yeah. So bungee uh, fitness that we've just introduced last year to Sri Lanka um, falls under the category of functional fitness and it allows your body to be trained in three dimensions. So if you are doing weight training, you will most probably just train your body in one dimension right but uh, our day-to-day -day movements uh, make us move in all different planes of motion we need to move you know um, not in 1d but 3d so that's what functional fitness is about and bungee fitness really allows for the movement how did you get into bungee training in the first place where did you get educated where did you find out that there was a training like this so i went online you know i researched a lot on where to get certified and i got certified in india so i'm certified in functional fitness uh, trx trx rip bungee fitness um, and things like that <laughs> Uh, you mentioned TRX as well. Yeah. Why do you think uh, TRX is more important than other uh, normal training sessions? Yeah, so as we age, functional fitness is extremely important. Mm -hmm. And uh, functional fitness allows us to train the body using daily movements. If you're climbing a, s a fleet of stairs, you need to be functionally fit. You know, if you're doing a rotation movement like carrying a child and, you know, um, turning around and picking something from the back of you, you need functional 
movement. So that's what we train at the studio. And TRX is also used in sports rehabilitation, you know, which means that, uh, that, the, that, that it won't injure you. The percentage of injuries while using TRH, TRX would be much less than if you were doing weight training. Of course, yeah. now the Breakthrough Studio, you implemented something very new to Sri Lanka. Mm. And uh, what was the response you received? Was it uh, criticized or was it welcomed by your clients? In the beginning, it was nobody knew about the Breakthrough Studio. Exactly. And uh, I was basically running it by myself. So it was a lot of work. Social media was uh, not done the way it should have been done, perhaps, when, when I just started because I didn't know how to do the social media side of it so no one knew about it but the response has been really amazing because the focus has been the client you know from the beginning the focus has always been trying to make the client get the best workout they can in 50 minutes so the response has been amazing okay and could you tell us a little bit about your equipment that you use it's uh, something unusual and something equipment that has not been used basically in any other gyms or studios fitness centers i would say yeah. uh, from where do you get these in equipment or where yeah. do you specialize so all the so all the equipment is um, imported mm -hmm. right so they are brought from abroad and uh, like i said before it falls under the category of functional fitness would you say that there is an age category that anyone should join this bungee training? Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, but uh, most of our clients are in their 30s. They are overweight. You know, they feel really shy to go to a gym to start their workout programs. And uh, they feel comfortable with us because most of our clients have been overweight when they joined us. And we are very well known for our weight loss testimonials. So clients get the best out of their workout in 50 minutes time. Uh, talking about your client base, would you say that it's more relevant to people who are above 30 than below 30? Not really, not really. We do have teenagers as our clients. We do have clients who are 30 to 40. So, I mean, People, everyone is looking at fitness now and they're looking at fitness uh, apart from just gym fitness. Right. So we have a whole range of clients, mostly majority of them are in their 30s. Okay, how do you conduct your sessions? Uh, now before the pandemic, I'm pretty sure you all had face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with your clients as well. How do those sessions uh, take part? So before the pandemic, when before the pandemic, mm -hmm. yes. Before. So before the pandemic, the sessions were at the studio, mm -hmm. at both the studios here, and each session is fifty minutes. And um, one thing that is really important to say is that our sessions are very different to the sessions conducted anywhere else, because um, they are completely focused on results. So we have. Um, we have kind of formulated the schedules to give the maximum benefit in 50 minutes of time and each day we have a different workout no two schedules are the same so a lot of time is invested in creating the schedules and also bringing that uh, efficiency and effectiveness to the workout in 50 minutes okay uh, when you started the breakthrough studio what were some of the challenges you faced because definitely this is something very new some of the challenges that I faced was um, I was a new businesswoman <laughs> and also a coach. Um, I was, there were m maybe a lot of challenges, but I didn't have time <laughs> to see them as challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, some of the challenges would be I didn't have anyone to help me. You know, I didn't have other coaches to help me um, with the things that I was doing with my coaching. I didn't have a proper admin team, you know, the social media was handled by me. So I was learning on the job, more or less. So there may have been challenges, but uh, to me, they were really not challenges. I was just too focused on getting it going. Was it easier for you to get your staff into play? Because obviously your coaches or other staff must be trained as you are, and they should be having a very good knowledge about this as well. Yeah. So. Um, one thing that I really, when I hire someone, I really look at how passionate they are about what they are doing. So even if they do not have a knowledge of fitness, that could be taught, but, uh, but not how to serve people well. 
and um, at Breakthrough Studio, this is one of I think the most important features. F uh, one of the most important feature of our studio is that all the clients feel really welcome. The clients feel that they got the best out of their 50-minute workout. Uh, they feel like we have helped to change their life. You know, so the coaches are very good. There's a lot of time invested in um, coaching them and also in making them relate with the client. So I have a really good team. Okay, Ashanti. Let's go into a short commercial break. We are in discussion with Ashanti Soris. We'll be back soon. Welcome back. We are in discussion with Ashanti Soris, who is the founder and managing director of Breakthrough Studio. Ashanti, so I think we basically got an idea about what Breakthrough Studio is all about. And since your studio is promoting good fitness habits, could you give us a few examples of some fitness habits to our audience that you encourage? So I encourage movement, you know. From when you're a kid to an adult, you need to move. And as you get older, you need to move more. So um, get off, you know, just being sedentary, move more. And it doesn't mean that you have to join a gym. It can just mean you go for a walk, you know. So movement is very important. If you can add strength training at least three times a week, again, you don't have to lift really heavy dumbbells. You can just use resistance bands at home or use tiny dumbbells and you can get a strength training workout done three times a week. That will be really great as well, you know, um, because strength training is important to build lean muscle. And as we get older, we need to keep our muscle. So another thing is, of course, diet. Your diet is very important. It doesn't matter what you do, how much you work out or how well you work out. At the end of the day, if your diet is um, not full of nutrition or if it's uh, not good enough for you, then your body is going to suffer, you know, and um, you're not going to be able to recover even if you're not, too fe not feeling too well. So your diet is really important. So with regards to the diet, just, you know, don't eat all out of packets. <laughs> You know, try to eat as whole, healthy, nourishing food as much as possible. Get enough of sleep. Sleep is very neglected. Um, get plenty of sleep and make sure the sleep is restful. Restful sleep, so don't ignore your sleep because even um, not sleeping enough can make you gain weight. Then uh, I practice fasting very uh, very strictly so i fast for a good 15 to 16 hours on most days and i have a eating window which i eat during some days i fast even up to 20 hours and um, they found out that fasting really helps the body you know so as much as you can try to introduce fasting and make it a practice make it a lifestyle so those are some of the few things the last one would be just watch your sugar intake we have hidden sugars in most of the things that we eat. We need to really watch, um, watch for the amount of sugar that we consume. Read food labels before you buy food in supermarkets. So, you know, those are some of the little hints that I could give. Perhaps implementing one or two of those would make a radical change to your health. Okay, when talking about your diet plan, do you already, do you give a diet plan to your clients as well individually to every person to follow? Yeah, so not everyone wants to be on a diet. Mm -hmm. So if, if they would like to change their diet um, and uh, kind of eat healthy or if they would like to learn how to eat healthy, then yes, I do. I do guide them with a diet program as well. And uh, since you spoke about fasting as well, don't yeah. you think it affects your immunity as yeah. a whole? Yeah, fasting actually improves your immunity. So it affects the immunity in a positive sense. And um, we've been fasting for years, you know, as humans, we've been fasting for years, even religious practices have it. So it's not a new thing. It's a very ancient practice that has come back into the limelight again. So it's very safe. 
Okay, now since the pandemic hit, I'm pretty sure you all had to resort into online sessions. Do you think that's uh, effective at this moment? The online sessions, we started the online sessions last April and uh, we had to almost overnight start the online sessions because otherwise, you know, the whole business would have had to shut down last year because obviously it's a business, uh, it's a fitness studio where clients come to us and uh, during the lockdown they were unable to come to us. So we switched to online and uh, we had to completely make a new schedule, new way of training. So we use a lot of body weight training, we use uh, little dumbbells and resistance bands. Most of our workouts are around those and uh, the training has been effective. You know, we have a lot of weight loss testimonies even with the online coaching. Last year we had more than 35 to 40 people joining in per month to do our online sessions and we have a lot of sessions a day and it doesn't you don't have to book the session sessions ahead so people find it more convenient to join online especially because the kids are at home with them too now. Definitely. So yes online sessions have been amazing they've been going really well and they've been very effective you know because uh, something that people don't talk about when it comes to fitness is that fitness has the ability to change the structure of your brain you know to make uh, joy more possible so if you're at home and if you're depressed because of the lockdown this is a really good time for you to start fitness because you are going to be uh, naturally happy when you start fitness since happy hormones are released in your brain and that's uh, you're going to be feeling great throughout the day not even having a reason to <laughs> you know so this is the time if you've never been into fitness to start a fitness life great uh, would you say that there is a timeline to achieve the perfect version of yourself absolutely not absolutely not you know you could be 50 and you might just want to start your fitness you could be 60 absolutely not but I would I would like it if parents can encourage their children to start fitness at an early age because now a lot of kids are stuck to their device they don't True. move they don't play you know they love they love uh, s staring at their phones and they're very techy which is excellent but not too good on the body so kids are getting overweight you know they are also being fed a lot of fast food because it's convenient and it's less time consuming so it would be really great if as parents they could focus on getting the children into an active lifestyle from the from when they're really young but um, even if you're it doesn't matter at what age you start as long as you start somewhere since you're a fitness coach, uh, on your personal opinion, what do you think about the use of steroids and supplements at the moment that people are using in order to fast track their results? So steroids and supplements, which I have never recommended to any of my clients and I've never taken myself, I'm sure that you need to take it if you are perhaps, you know, a bodybuilder or if you are into that line of sport but if it's just absolute basic weight loss and uh, strengthening and toning that's unnecessary i would say you can do it without it okay and uh, when coming into your plans again it, would you say that uh, people or your clients would have achieved their best version of yourself some would have achieved it faster than the rest is there a particular reason for that yes because some come without intention <laughs> So, you know, if I, I have seen clients walking into the studio with absolutely no intention of why they are there and they drop out. So if you're starting a fitness journey, start with the intention of I'm going to change my life. I'm going to become the best version of myself. I'm going to become the healthiest version of myself. I'm not only going to look good in the outside, but also my inside is going to be you know really in good shape so intention really matters you know if you're starting any fitness program start with the right intention then you'll be able to carry it through okay when coming back to your breakthrough studio again what's your next expansion step or i would say where do you see yourself or your studio in another two to three years time yeah so i had a lot of plans which were kind of 
put on hold since COVID last year. And I have two studios in Colombo and one international branch in Bangalore, India, which I've partnered with my sister for. And uh, everything has been very slow. You know, the expansion plans have been slow due to the pandemic, but I'm sure that, uh, that we will get there soon. <laughs> Okay, and again, uh, Breakthrough Studio, what would you say is the competitive advantage that you have against rest of the fitness studios or the gyms, I would say? We are completely different. <laughs> we are completely different in the sense our equipment is different. So we are the only studio in the country to offer bungee fitness. We are the only studio in the country to offer penalty box workouts. Um, the only studio in the country to have a workout which combines bungee fitness and TRX and we are completely focused on functional fitness and uh, helping people to move better you know um, our schedules are never the same so every day you come to uh, come to our studio we have a different workout so Monday to Saturday we have a different workout different type of workout and a different schedule so the schedule that you do today is not the same one that you'll do tomorrow. It will never be repeated. So a lot of time is invested in creating those schedules. Um, the, the focus of each session is to provide the maximum benefit to the client in the minimum amount of time and to give a really efficient and effective workout in 50 minutes. Right. So. We are extremely different. I don't think there's anyone else who does that. And um, the biggest advantage, I would say, is our coaching styles, how we approach our clients. You know, every client who comes to us, we realize that they come because they want to change their life. You know, they are overweight, they've been all over, and they've not been able to find a solution to their weight issue or their lethargy issue or their illness so we know that they come looking for an answer you know so we realize that and everybody is uh, treated as a separate entity although it's a group workout we will focus on every individual's needs so i don't think there's any fitness studio in the country that does that you know um, everyone is treated very important and everyone is made to feel at home the workouts are extremely fun the vibe in the studio is amazing you know and uh, people love us you know they call it the breakthrough uh, fit family the breakthrough fit fam so without us having to say anything we are all um, very close you know although there are a lot of clients who walk in and out of the studio every day we know each one by name we know each one's health issues uh, we know what each one would like as an outcome of their fitness program so there is a lot of uh, relationship that's built with us and the client so it's not a fit it's not a gym where you just walk in nobody knows you you know you are sometimes you're performing the workouts with the wrong technique no one corrects you you know or you're just going there just to have a chat with your friend and you're on the treadmill for hours so um, it's very focused. Ashanti, tell me a little bit about your team per se. You said each and every session is completely different. Yeah. Uh, you can't compare yeah. anything with each other. So who makes these sessions? Do you so all the schedules are made by the coaches and me. Mm -hmm. And um, Mondays we have what we call penalty box Tabata. Penalty box again is the first time in Sri Lanka. We've just introduced it a couple of months ago. And um, it's a high intensity workout on Mondays. Tuesdays is pure body burn, which is absolutely different to our Monday workout, where we use micro movements, you know, to train our muscles. And we use tiny dumbbells and workout bands. Wednesday is a session that's called a TRX Rip Bungee Fusion. So we use the bungee trainer, the TRX Rip Trainer and the TRX Suspension Trainer. Thursday is a circuit training where we use every equipment in the studio, including the battle ropes and the BOSU ball, weight bags. Um, Friday is kettlebell training, functional training. And uh, Saturday is our hit and core. So every day is a different workout. You know, it's never the same at the studio. Okay, Ashanti, this is all the time we have on the show, unfortunately. And I wish you all the very best with your studio and good luck. 
Thank you. Thank you again for joining with us on Business Best. Thank you. Well, that was it from us on this week's episode of Business Best. Join us again next week, same time, Friday, 7 p.m. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned as Blueprint will be up next where you can get some useful business tips and tools. I'm Suzanne Shinali. Have a good night.